As we talked about creativity and the foundations required for creativity to flourish in my previous video, let's talk about creative exercises that can strengthen the foundations required for your creativity. If you haven't watched the video, be sure to check it out, link for the video will be in the description. It would be useful if you watch that video first. Now, I hope you watched the first video, so, let's get to the exercises. First and most important is to appreciate your creativity. The purpose of this exercise is to develop your intrinsic motivation, in the previous video you would have known, that it is most important foundation. Intrinsic motivation is when you do something because you feel to do it, not because of external rewards or appreciation. Enjoy the moment you get new idea, also, imagine the process you have gone through to get that idea and feel the moment with happiness. Focus on your curiosity of getting even more better idea than this. Appreciate your process and your idea more than the praise and appreciation you can get from that. Imagine the finished product and how it would make others feel, not the appreciation or praise from others, but on how your idea being responsible for the feeling that viewers feel seeing your idea. Second, use your non-dominant hand and also meditation. The purpose is just to maintain your brain health. Brain health is necessary for creativity, right? Use your non-dominant hand to write, or even doing your daily chores is sufficient. Meditate even a short while, I mean, isn't the feeling of just forgetting all stress and focusing on the breath is amazing? Give it a try. If you are already doing, then it's great. 3. Find alternatives. It doesn't matter if it is about your thinking or daily stuffs like cooking vessel or brush, find another use. We are often rigid with our thinking pattern, so ask yourself why should I only do it this way? Or even for your idea, you can ask there should be better idea for this. For daily things, is this the only way I can use this? This exercise will nurture your curiosity and your analytical skills, and your introspection skills at the same time. 4. Seeing big picture and analyzing. There are times where we go for details, but forget ourselves to calm down and watch the big picture. You will focus with all your energy into the work, but, how many times have you asked yourself that, why am I doing this? Why should I do this? These questions help you see bigger picture. Let's say you are preparing for presentation, ask yourself about the topic, who will be listening to you, what is the purpose of your presentation and how will it affect the listener's thinking, and why are you doing that presentation? What do they expect, and what do you desire to make them think about your presentation? The answers you get for these questions will help you to set clear goal, and help you to see the topic and details in different perspective. 5. Spend quality time to yourself. Spending a quality time alone doesn't mean working with your job alone. Spend your time relaxing, either listen to music, or just fantasize about anything, your wish. Just let yourself free, without forcing yourself to think in certain way or anything. You can also remember your memories and can try to look it in different way than you used to look till now. There are many things you can do when you are alone. This will help in mind wandering and imagination, which is important for creativity, as mentioned in previous video. 6. Expressing Emotions Try to express your emotions in different way, like, journaling, painting, drawing, story writing, song lyrics, or even forming comedies dancing, or even the motivation, learning or doing something you've never done before. 7. Changing senses. Like visual to sound or vice versa. Construct a story or music which is heard, that is by sound by referring a picture or painting. And paint or draw which is visual by referring a music or story. This will push you to think and express your ideas in different way. 8. Form loose associations. Just think of two completely different topic or concept and try to connect it. Like, smartphone and learning. You can think about, ebooks, courses, or even coding and building smartphone itself, even online classes and meetings. Like this and even more abstract connections. This will be fun to do. 9. Try new things, it may be even logical thinking subjects. Well, being completely logical and analytical will not be good for creativity but, it is however, necessary. In my previous video I said that details obtained from analysis will be used to form connections between them, 
and form a unique idea. So, shifting between these thinking requires flexibility, hence learn new and do new things. 10. Look at creative products and imagining the process. Have you came across a creative idea by others, your friends, or creative people from past? If you have, or if you are going to, try to imagine the process on how could they have got that idea. What details could they have noticed? You can even ask them about their process. This will help you to learn and adapt the thinking required for creativity. Thank you for watching. Hope the video was helpful.